Sydney has a massive train network, with 170 stations spread out over eight lines. That system is growing, in the form of Sydney Metro. First announced in 2012, the Sydney Metro is the first fully automated rapid transit system in Australia's history. It will be opened at this full extent by the year 2030. But if Metro planners have their way, that will be just the beginning. This is the story of its ever-continuing evolution. In May 2019, the first stage of the Sydney Metro opened, known as the Sydney Metro Northwest. Starting at Talawong, stations were built in Rouse Hill, Kellyville, Bella Vista, Norwest, Hills Showground, Castle Hill, and Cherrybrook, before arriving at the existing Epping Railway Station. Now, the Epping to Chatswood rail link, which initially opened in 2009 as a railway line, was converted into a metro line in tandem with this metro project, extending the metro from Epping to stations at Macquarie University, Macquarie Park and North Ride, before arriving at Chatswood. This is where the current Sydney metro network stands as of 2022, however construction is well underway to expand this metro network. First, the metro is being extended from Chatswood in the Sydney Metro City and Southwest project, which will open in 2024. Stations are being built at Crow's Nest, Victoria Cross and Barangaroo, with an interchange at Martin Place, a new station at Pitt Street, and an interchange with Central. It will then head south to a new station at Waterloo, before interchanging at Sydenham. From Sydenham, the Bankstown line will be converted into a metro line, with existing stations at Marrickville, Dulwich Hill, Hurlston Park, Canterbury, Campsey, Belmore, Lakemba, Wiley Park, Punchbowl, and Bankstown, all being converted into metro stations. The Sydney Metro Western Sydney Airport is being built to provide rail access to the new airport at Badgerys Creek and is expected to open in 2026, in time for the airport's opening. The Metro will begin at the existing St Mary's Railway Station before heading south with new stations at Orchard Hills, Luddenham, the Airport Business Park, the Airport Terminal and Aerotropolis. For more on the new Western Sydney Airport, check out my video in the top right. And while I have you, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and check out the rest of my channel, your go-to YouTube destination for all things city planning, after the video. The Sydney Metro West is the final officially announced metro line, which is expected to open in 2030. The metro will run from a new station in Sydney CBD called Hunter Street, very near to the current Wynyard Railway Station. It will then run west, with new stations at Piermont, The Bays, Five Dock, and Bearwood North. The remainder of its route will interchange with existing railway stations, starting with North Strathfield, then Sydney Olympic Park, Parramatta, and Westmead. The primary purpose of this metro is to shorten travel times between Parramatta and Sydney to as low as just 20 minutes. As of 2022, the official plans for the Sydney Metro will see it cover 113 kilometres and 46 stations in total by 2030. Now, the government has released visionary plans for further extensions to this network, as set out in three separate sources, which I will link in the description below. Station and line locations for these proposals are very bare bones and are highly likely to change. Nevertheless, all the stations and lines I'm about to list have been officially proposed by the government. First, the Sydney Metro West will be extended westerly from Parramatta, with a new station earmarked for Prairie Wood, before arriving at the new Western Sydney Airport Business Park, the Airport Terminal, and the Airtropolis Metro stations. The Sydney Metro West will also be extended on its eastern end, in a southerly direction, by 2041. Many station locations remain uncertain, but some are known, currently earmarked for Zetland, the University of New South Wales, Randwick Junction, Maroubra Junction, Maroubra, Malabar, and La Perouse. The Sydney Metro Northwest is also planned to be extended westerly by 2056, interchanging with the existing Schofields Railway Station, before continuing to a new station at Marston Park, and then joining up with the Sydney Metro Western Sydney Airport at St Mary's. 
Meanwhile, work has recently started as of 2022 on a business case for a southerly extension of the Sydney Metro Western Sydney Airport, with potential new stations at Airtropolis South and Rossmore, before heading south to Leppington. The Southwest Rail Link will be converted into a metro line, turning Leppington and Edmondson Park stations into metro stations, before arriving at an interchange with Glenfield. The Sydney Metro Southwest is planned to be extended at some point from Bankstown to Liverpool, likely via a more direct southerly route than the current route. Plans were initially to have this extension constructed and opened by 2031, However, these plans have been quietly dropped by the government for the immediate future. A new metro from Bondi Beach to Miranda will be built by 2056, starting at Bondi Beach before interchanging with Bondi Junction and then extending to new stations at Randwick Junction, Kingsford, East Lakes, the Domestic Airport, the International Airport and Brighton Le Sands, and then finally interchanging at Cogra. It will then head south to interchange at Miranda with station locations between Cogra and Miranda currently unknown. A metro from the Bays to Coogee will be built by 2056. Again, many station locations are unknown. However, some are proposed for the University of Sydney, Redfern, East Redfern, Moore Park, Randwick Junction and Coogee. Now, the next line is pretty long, so pay attention to Cogra in the bottom right. A metro line will extend from Cogra in Sydney South all the way to Norwest in Sydney's Northwest, interchanging at existing railway stations at Kingsgrove, Bankstown, Chester Hill and Parramatta, with a new station proposed at Balcombe Hills. This line will greatly improve north-south access to Parramatta. It is proposed for 2041, although I personally feel 2056 is a more realistic timeline. Again looking at the bottom right, a metro line from Cogra all the way to Macquarie Park in Sydney's north has also been proposed, with stations at the existing stations of Kingsgrove, Campsie, Stratfield, Sydney Olympic Park and Rhodes all proposed, as well as a new station at Ryde, and then on to the metro station at Macquarie Park. The long-awaited Epping to Parramatta metro is also planned to be built by 2056, with a potential station at Carlingford. This line could then continue to Glenfield via the current Cumberland line, joining up with the Sydney Metro Western Sydney Airport at Glenfield. The Sydney Metro South West may be extended from Liverpool to the new airport by 2056, with a new station at North Austral. Speaking of the new airport, the Sydney Metro Western Sydney Airport may receive a second extension, this time branching off from Airtropolis South, before heading south with new stations at Oran Park and Norellan. The metro will then interchange with MacArthur before extending even further south with a new station in Appen and then southerly towards Wollongong. Finally, a new metro line to the Northern Beaches may also be opened by 2056, starting from the CBD before extending north, with new stations in the Brookvale DY area and Mona Vale area. Do note that very little mention of this line exists other than in one map released by the government, and I personally doubt it will be built. If you like this video, please do consider liking and subscribing. Thanks for watching.